Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got two systems from Mad Planet Guy, which um, he sent quite a while ago actually and I just never got around to doing them. But yeah, we're going to be doing them today um, and without further ado, let's get into this. So, let's, uh, where are we? So, the first system of the day is, um, I think it's down here actually, I think I've seen it, is this. Dyson Sphere in Universe Sandbox, and by that picture, the way that picture looks, this thing looks awesome, so let's just get straight into this, I mean, what, what have we got here, oh my god, right, holy cow, that is just, look at the size of that, okay, so where, so Dyson Sphere in Universe Sandbox, E, <laughs> right, so, obviously a Dyson Sphere, it's a massive superstructure around a star, to harness the energy of it, I believe, so, it's got all those ring objects. I mean, look at this. What is this? Right, so the star itself. So it's just star. Okay, it looks like a red dwarf roughly from its size. There's also a planet inside the Dyson Sphere. I mean, look at this thing. Oh, oh, hang on. This is just a way of viewing it. Okay, it's just a visual thing. Right, so if we get too close to it. If we move our camera into it, it may upset it. But So it's got a planet in orbit inside the Dyson Sphere. So this thing would be harnessing a ton of energy. It looks to be the old ring texture. So if you don't know what I'm on about, it is this object down at the bottom in my menu. It's this thing here. I'm guessing it's one of these. But I'm guessing he's put a... Uh, it's, yeah, it has to be this ring thing here. So yeah, this is sort of an area of this object here is from a very old version of the game, um, which you can still recover if you go to uh, one of the old versions of the game on Steam. And you can get, you can find this in one of the simulations. This was originally a ring around Saturn. So if I put Saturn in, for instance, um, where are we? So Saturn. This, yeah, Saturn originally just sat like that, and then this ring was around it in this one simulation. And then, yeah, but the ring itself, you could download that ring because you could. It was a physical object you could click on, like I just did there. Um, and then I saved it, and it's been in the. You can still use it in the modern versions. I believe Mad Planet Guy, I gave him a copy and he's used it to make this object here, for instance, this rainbow version. But by the looks of it, in this system, he's made it, it so it has these ring textures. Or th that must be a texture. It looks like one of the Saturn's moon's textures on it. It looks like a moon texture. So it gives it that sort of rocky ring look appearance to it, which looks really awesome. Let's turn off orbits and labels so we can actually enjoy it properly. So there you go. That is, that is so cool. But yeah, he's definitely using that big ring object. And he must have set it all up. I'm guessing everything's on position lock here. Apart from that planet. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, look, look at this. I mean, that is just... All the things put in here. I mean, this is just something that's never been seen before in Universe Sandbox. I mean, I've, see, I've seen people do it with ring particles. But never using this giant ring object itself. I mean, that is just... So here, so here it is. Uh, there they, yeah, it is the ring object. So um, I'm guessing they're all position locked, aren't they? Where are we? Down here, yeah, they are position locks. I mean, if you if you unclick that, it would all turn to chaos. But how cool is that? I'm guessing he's put he's put some really weird texture on these ones. I mean, what kind of texture is that? I mean, what even is that? I mean, that is just the ones in the middle here. I mean, they are they look awesome. So, well, there's actually another object. Hello, look, there's a second planet. Hey, oh, check it out. Cool. This one's got life on it. But yeah, just, just looking at it itself, though, the massive superstructure here, I mean, imagine how many resources it would take to build something like that. I mean, this is some advanced, advanced civilization stuff, because man, you wouldn't be able to get all the materials to build this on one object, or one planet, surely. I mean, look how many, look how large they are. I mean, comparing it to a star, for instance, I guess just judging by the size, I'm guessing this would be the size of maybe Arcturus, maybe? Yeah, not too far off. I mean, that's not a bad estimate. Uh, what about Rigel? Almost the size of Rigel. So if we put Rigel there, for instance, as a comparison. So Rigel is 0 0.3 AU. 0 0.3 AU. So if we try and lower it to the exact size. So if I put Rigel in the middle, like that. And then if I just lower it down. Okay, just like that. Yep, keep lowering it. Oh, oh, oh that didn't work. Okay. I guess that well, let's just do it with a gas giant, then that'll that be better, actually. So, yeah, we'll just spawn in a nice-looking gas giant. I guess we can use... Let's use Rainbow Deluxe, for instance, I guess. We put that in there. Right, and then this object. So, let's actually try and work out how large this thing actually is exactly. So, I'm just going to make it... Uh, turn that off, lock that, and then just make the radius stupidly big. So, because that's too big. So, I'm going to lower it down until it looks to be relatively... So, yeah, we'll put it... There we go. So, we'll put it in the middle. Right, there you go. 
So like that. So that is practically in the center. As close as I get it. Okay, so now we're just going to make it large enough so we can't see the uh, superstructure anymore. So let's just make it a little bigger. So somewhere around there. Okay, so by that, it might, this, this Dyson sphere is around 0 0.28 AU, roughly. 0 0.28 U, or 8 U. So that's larger than 25% of the Earth's orbit. So that's how big this structure is. So, yeah, we'll just round it up. So 25% the size of Earth's orbit, this uh, superstructure is. So that is a lot. That is so much material that you would need to build this. I mean, that is just crazy in real life. Imagine if something like this could actually exist. Like, how many materials you'd need. I mean... How cool. I mean, just look how cool that is. Like, all the bits in the middle. I mean, I think the best of view, the best area to view this is definitely probably somewhere here. So you can see all the rings themselves. Click play. I mean, if you click play, it all moves. Look, it moves. Look at that. Look how cool that is. It flipping moves. Oh, my God. God, it's like a super speedy, like, music player or something. Or like something you'd put an old DVD into. I don't know. A record player something like that. i mean look at that how cool is that just all the spinning it's almost like an engine or something <laughs> i mean that is i mean in the middle here i mean look all, all the, this is all harvesting the energy of the star so you can see the star is shooting out like solar flares or whatever this thing would harness that energy and, and all that i mean that is how cool is that i mean that is so so awesome so i mean props for making it i mean that is i mean it's something that's never been seen before and the time, the amount of time that must have gone into setting this thing up. I mean, damn, that is pretty crazy. So there you go. Oh, there's another little, I think I just saw another little object. So what we actually got in here, let's actually have a look at all the pieces. There's actually a load of objects in here. So I'm guessing, oh, oh, there is some objects for in, further out in the orbits as well. Check it out. Hey, so we've got a few um, planets in here. So they're all just chilling at the edges of the system. They're looking good, actually. Hey. Oh, and then it looks like all of these ones are in here. So there's also... Yeah, we, we saw that one, didn't we? Crater texture. What's this one? So there it is. Uh, Hort over here. So where's this object located? So this is inside it as well. Look at that. Imagine that in your night sky. I mean, look, we close it. Can we actually view it on the surface? We go surface mode. Don't know if you can view it. Oh, oh there you can. Okay. So imagine that in your night sky. Or in your day, imagine that the whole sky at daytime was filled with that. I mean, you're inside it as well. So in theory, it covers up more area than a red giant does because it's on. You're you're inside it, so it'll appear from even if you look behind you, you'd still see it. I mean, look at that. And it's, the fact that it all moves and stuff as well is so cool. So yeah, there it is. But imagine imagine seeing that when you wake up every morning. I mean, that is just <laughs> that's just crazy. So. There you go. But yeah, building a structure of this size, man, the amount of material you would need is just crazy. But yeah, there's all the other planets. Actually, what we'll do is just get a lineup of it all. So if we do a chart mode, it takes the whole thing apart. And that's what you end up with. So radius. Look at all these pieces. I mean, look at that. Right, so let's actually head all the way down. So there's all the rings stuff, all the inner rings. The star itself is actually one of the objects is bigger than the star. So 94 Jupiters. Second largest is 37 Earths. And all the way down here, got all of these uh, planets. So that is just crazy. I mean, it's this is how bizarre it is as well. I mean, obviously, no one's ever sent in a simulation like this. I mean, this is just one of a kind, really, isn't it? I mean, blimmin' Dyson Sphere. I mean, that is just that is crazy. I mean, well done. That is definitely uh, very unique indeed. Man, I kind of regret not showing this sooner. I mean, it's been in our, uh, like, it's been buried in the private messages for so long. I mean, I almost feel bad <laughs> for not viewing it when I should have. I should have done it as soon as I he sent it in. I mean, this is just crazy. And it's good that we can finally show it off. I mean, that is just... I mean, look at it. Play. We can just go stupidly fast. I mean, look at it. Look at it spin. Look at it go. How cool is that? I mean, that is just... God, that is, it's like an en like I said, it's like an engine, like a moving engine, all the parts moving, even all the way in the inside here. I mean, that is just, that is just absolutely crazy how that looks, all the different rings in there that curated this. Man, that just opens up so many opportunities, like, if anyone wants to get that ring, just go back to an old version of the game and you can find it in the, one of the simulations with Saturn, but, God, the amount of other things you could invent 
with having position lock on and just putting loads of rings together to make something crazy like this. I mean, that is awesome. So, yeah, very nice job indeed to Mad Planet Guy for building this. I mean, that is awesome. So, let's just slow it all down. Very nice indeed. But, yeah, moving on. So, we've got the second simulation to review today. It's called the uh, Resecu system. I hope I'm saying that right. So, let's go ahead and uh, put that into the game. So, I open up. I'll just paste it. So, I've got the name of it. You're going to paste it in game? Don't freeze on me now. Where do you go? Hey, I pasted that. What are you doing? Oi. Oh, you can freeze. Stop freezing. There you go. Right. So this is the second system he sent in. So leave the dice in for now. Right. Okay. There are about two or three new breeds of objects in the simulation, including an unused texture I discovered. Please do not save any of these objects. Thanks. All right. Uh, everything here is made by me. Okay. Right. So star itself at the beginning, like we always do. So the star relatively sun-like a little larger in mass and radius as we can see a little brighter um, uh, bigger in temperature as well so there it is star right first object all the way down here so vr or yeah vrf 2459 so here we go it's got a nice uh two-tone sort of atmosphere going on we've got multiple stars lighting it up as well looking very nice indeed there that kind of reminds me of the first ob modded object ever made with that atmosphere color uh Next object out, we've got a nice purple and pinky gas joint. That does look good. Oh, I like that. Hey, that's a nice mixture of pinks and purple. It's also got a moon. Glowing, glowing red moon here. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Minus 70 degrees, but still glowing like crazy. That is that's cool. Very nice indeed. Right. Heading on to the next one now. So where are we? So uh, Carol Bant over here. So this is a Venus uh, atmosphere world, as we can see. Let's have a look underneath those clouds. So where are we? Come on. So that's what it looks like underneath. Okay. Ooh. Nice mix of uh, green grassland. Kind of reminds me of an object from Space Engine. All the rocky mountains, and it's got a few patches of green on it. Looking good. And then obviously the Venus atmosphere on top of it. Right. Good, good. Next up, we have got TBE over here. 8172. So that's a gas giant as well. Right, all the way down here. Open it up, please. Yeah, the game really struggles opening gas giants with those band, loads of bands. There it is. So, nice mix of oranges, whites, greys, browns in there as well. And some darker stuff at the bottom there. Looking good. Hey, so there's that one. Right, then we have FLN5052 over here. That's a nice looking blue one here. Look at that. Right, so zoom in. Here it is. So, nice mixes of uh, teal, blue, white uh, bands in there as well. Looking good. So that's all by itself. No moons on that one. Righty. Right, next up we've got uh, this object here. So we have a second star. Okay. Second star. Oh, there's an Earth. Oh, it just has Earth in its name by the looks of it. I can see that Earth there. So he must have put white clouds on one of these. Okay, so SKM2251 over here. That's got a nice mix of bands in it. So mixes of a uh, sort of lavender purple, normal purple, teal, cyan and blue in there as well. So a nice, nice combination of color on it there. Looking good. God, the possibilities of gas giant curation. I mean, no two gas giants are the same, are they? Every single one will be different in its own way when you add that many bands on it. Then we have this object over here. That's looking pretty cool. So uh, PKM4489. This one's got a nice load of uh, clouds on it as well. Can see there, I think it's got some yeah, sort of dark grey sort of coloured clouds on it. Not sure if I should be clicking play or not, but yeah, just pause it again. So if we look on the planet itself, let's go ahead and uh, until it opens, of course. Come on, game. Oh, oh, it crashed. No, game crash. All right, back in a sec, guys. Okay, everyone, I am back. I tried opening the simulation again and trying to get where we are opening the object menu for this, but this one looks like it's a guaranteed crash. So I don't know if that's intentional or not, but if it is, very sneaky. But yeah, this one, um, I can't open the object menu. It crashes every time. I gave it a two tries. Um, yeah, that one, do not double click it. Otherwise, <laughs> it will crash your game. So, right, there we are. Right, moving on. So, we've got the, the second, or I say third star now. So, over here. Right, here it is. So, on to the other objects. Got to be a little wary now. I don't want to have to double click and keep having game crashes. So, here it is. Looks like something here is completely non functional, unfortunately. So, there it is. So, zooming out. I'm guessing that was a modded object that's broken in these newer versions of the game, which is quite annoying. Um, and then we have another gas shine over here as well. Looking good. Very nice there. Right, and then we have got 
this moon here as well. So that looks like it's a Enceladus uh, looking object there. Uh, moving on over here, we've got DSV1219. That's quite a cool looking one, actually. I like that. Nice. Uh, the surface texture on it looks quite cool. The darker blue areas. That's looking, that's looking cool. Right, uh, moving out. So we have this red one over here. Alright, zooming in. It was very, very dark. What is going on there? What the heck? What even is this about? What is that? Right, I can open the object menu on this. What? Do you see that little object in the middle? What's that all about? <laughs> what if I remove the... Okay, what is that atmosphere? What the heck is this? Is this like some like black hole effect or something on it? I mean, what is that all about? <laughs> so normal, normal ocean world, but when you click that, it, what? Oh, that is bizarre. Look at that. Oh wow. Huh. That is really cool. Right. Uh, next subject out. That is a very strange one. We've got this one over here. Nice gas giant. Brown white combination of uh, colours there. Looking looking good. I'm liking it. Almost reminds me of like a yeah, Jupiter, like a brownish version of Jupiter. There. Looking cool. Uh, next object up here. Another gas giant. A little more uh, default looking one compared to the other one. So yeah, there it is nonetheless. There you go. Alrighty. And then uh, next object over here. I think this is the last object in here. So we got this one here. Okay, nice. Right, so let's get a uh, full line up of the system. Just make sure we've gone through everything. So right, here we are. Uh, make live. Yep, that's fine. Uh, turn off labels so and orbits right here we are so we've got the three stars we've got the gas giants we did see all of these i've got to be very careful i don't double click that naughty planet that keeps crashing the game so there it is there's them all on studio mode so there we are i think my favorite gas giant has got to be this one here oh I've, now it's opening its bands up that's gonna take a while oi stop freezing game god that is really annoying how long it takes to open objects with bands now that is god damn it stop doing that right so I'll click on the one next to it, actually. See, I, I think this object here is my favourite banded object in here out of them all. I really like the way the design is on that one. I think this one as well. That's cool. And then the brown one over here. I do like the way that one looks as well, I have to say. Very nice. And then onto the rocky planets. I'm very careful which one I click on here. Let's go click on this one again. I mean, this one, that is so bizarre. I mean, that is just... I mean, what happened? What actually happened with this city lights on? I mean, like, what is that all about? I mean... <laughs> Oh, it's just crazy. So we've got that one there. We've got this nice object that we started off with here. We've got that crazy glowing red one as well. I mean, that is that's a cool looking one. Right there. And then we've got this one here. I'm guessing this is the only one that's broken. Maybe this one. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the only object that's broken. I guess the, the crossing off into different versions of the game upsell it a bit. But at least we've got to see everything else the way it should be. So that is absolutely crazy. But yeah, this thing here. I mean, what has happened? I, I mean, that is just... That is so bizarre. I mean, that... I mean, it's obviously not the most visually appealing object, but on the mo on the spectrum of crazy modded objects, this thing probably takes the cake. I mean, that is just what what happened? I mean, what is that all about? I mean, that is just crazy. So, yeah, there we go. But again, a massive thank you to Mad Planet Guy for sending in his two systems today. So we had the Dyson Sphere. Uh, obviously, we started off with that. That one is absolutely awesome. And then, yeah, we had um, this one as well. So, a massive thank you to him for sending these two in. I think I've got two more of his. Um, I still need to do, actually. So, hopefully, I'll have them out um, as well at some point. And, yeah, with that all said and done, a massive thank you for watching today's video, guys. So, if you liked it, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video as well. Also, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 19,000 subscribers before the end of uh, January because we are getting so, so, so close. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button um, if you want to stay up to date with all the videos I release. And, yeah, guys, with that all said and done, make sure you all stay safe out there. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.